So I'm taken with the idea of raising animals in a paddock shift system. If you're not familiar with the concept, it involves regularly rotating livestock animals through a series of fields or enclosed spaces. It simulates how a group of animals will move in the wild to find new, a new food source and avoid predators. The benefit is it prevents any one area from becoming overgrazed or otherwise cleared of vegetation. It also serves dispersed animal waste, thus preventing disease. Joel Salton, a farmer in Virginia, does a large scale paddock shift system with cattle and chickens. Every day he moves his herd into a new one acre pasture. The chickens follow behind the next, next day, breaking up the cow's manure and eating the bugs that it tracks. Once the chickens have moved on, the pasture is allowed to rest. The, ve the vegetation grows back stronger with the fertilizer provided by the cows and chickens. The system all allows Joel Salton to provide a healthy environment for his animals, revitalize the land, and provide high quality meat and eggs. If you've never heard of Joel Salton, check out one of his books or Ma Michael Pollan's The Omnivore's Dilemma, where he devotes a section to him. So I've been thinking, on my suburban lot, could I do a small scale paddock shift system with quail? More specifically, Caternix quail. Caternix quail are small game birds. They're prolific egg layers, and in my opinion, a better option than chickens for small properties, since they're quieter and require, require much less space. So here's my plan. I have a roughly 13 foot by six and a half foot enclosure, subdivided into four sections. Each section is roughly 20 square feet in area. I've read that Caternix only need one square foot per bird, but I like to be closer to two, so I'll plan to raise around 12 birds. This will provide the equivalent of two to three chicken eggs a day. I will also plant the enclosure. Quail aren't scratchers like chickens, but they will nibble greenery and sit or stand on young plants. I'll populate the area with a combination of woody shrubs like thornless blackberry, vines, and established plants. I'm planning to move the flock every two to four days, giving each section a rest period of six to 12 days. I want to put down some fast growing cover crops that will sprout and grow a bit before being taken out by the quail. I'm thinking sunflower will be a good cheap option. If you have any other ideas, please put them in the comments. Okay, so I'm, I'm going to go through some of the construction process. If you want to skip ahead to the walkthrough, I'll put the timestamp in the video notes. For the foundation, I ran two courses of concrete blocks. Instead of mooring the blocks together, I decided to bolt them together. I don't know, the permanence of concrete scares me a little. With this option, the blocks could theoretically be decoupled and reused. I ran 2x8 on edge around the perimeter and then put the sill plate on top. This maximizes the space and the overhang will give the quail lots of hiding space as well as some protection from the elements. Caternix aren't really happy in the open and prefer to have some type of cover. I also used 2 by 8 to create internal partitions and cut openings to allow the quail to move between the paddocks. Here's the basic A-frame structure. I cut mortise and tenons for the central beams and posts because one has to justify owning a chain mortiser. It's difficult to see here, but I have attached half, one half inch hardware cloth to close up the internal partitions. Here's a door for one of the sections. I double up two by fours and sandwich hard cl hardware cloth in between to make it good and predator proof. Here's the finished project. Each door weighs around 50 pounds, so I installed gas struts as a safety precaution. Here's the feeding and watering system. The water is gravity fed from a two gallon bucket mounted outside the enclosure to these two nipples. The feeder is removable and is designed to mitigate food waste. All right, so stay tuned. I'll give you a full walkthrough of the, of the project. All right, 
So here's the quail garden. It's been occupied for about three weeks now. You can see the quail are currently in this quadrant. We've got a little cucumber going in here and some asparagus there in the back. Okay, here's what we'll be moving to tomorrow morning. So, this section has not been occupied in about a week now. You see I got some Swiss chard going there. Here's some rosemary. More Swiss chard. A little blackberry bush. Also got some sunflower seedlings coming up. I usually toss a few sunflower seeds in just to sort of entice the quail over to the next section, but they don't really need it. So tomorrow morning, I'll open up this little door, and then I'll just move their food from over there over to over here. And then within half an hour or so, they, they'll find it. So for watering, we're being supplied by this two-gallon bucket up here. And I've got just a couple of watering nipples here. Which it didn't take long for the quail to figure out how to use those. So these doors are supported by gas struts. Just to make it easier when I'm working on stuff here in the garden where the, uh, the quail are not occupied. So we'll go ahead and shut that. And just got a little hasp here. Okay, here's an example of their feeder. I made a slightly smaller one that fits better in there, but this is my first prototype. So it's pretty simple. It's got a hinge. You can just sort of see the, the feed gets funneled through there. And the quail stick their head through there and get the food. All right, that's it. I'll, I'll post an update as, uh, as things go along.